Hi, this is Chris Neitzer, and in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the page editor. The page editor is located inside of the Open Edit Pages module. So, first thing, go ahead and click on the Open Edit Pages icon. Next, choose a page to edit. I'm going to be editing the client's page. So, go ahead and click the Edit button next to the page that you want to edit. This is the page editor. The page editor works on an easy to use drag and drop system. The grid area corresponds to the content area on your page. This grid works to keep all of your content organized and neat. So to get started, I'm gonna add some content to my page. I'm gonna drag an image onto the first middle square of my grid. I'll go ahead and choose an image from this drop down menu and hit OK to select the image. Next, I'm going to add some text. The page editor allows you to put more than one item into the same grid box. So I'll illustrate this by placing some text into the same box as my picture. This is the text editor. I'm not going to go into any detail about how to use the text editor in this video. I'll go into more detail about the text editor in future tutorial videos. So for right now I'm just going to enter some simple text. And click update to add the text to my page. If you want to go back and edit your text, simply click on the text editor box so that you can edit your text. There we go. And finally, I'm going to drop an MP3 plugin directly onto my page as well. So now I've got three items on my page. You'll notice that I skipped a box when I put the MP3 plugin on the page. When this page is displayed, this space that I've left between the text and the MP3 plugin will not be displayed. The MP3 plugin will be pushed up just under the text, as you'll see in just a second. So I'll go ahead and click Preview Page. Before you can preview a page, you have to save the changes that you've made to the page. So go ahead and click OK to save your changes. And this is my page. You can see my picture here, the text that I put, and my little MP3 plugin right below it. And as you can see, the space that I've left between these two items doesn't even show. So now we're back at the page editor. I'm going to show you a few of the other things you can drop onto your page. But first, I want to get rid of these other things that I've put on the page. So in order to delete something, all you have to do is drag the Delete Objects button right onto the page editor where you want to delete an object. And just like that, we're right back where we started. Now, forms, blogs, calendars, and photo albums. The reason for this is that these items tend to take up a lot of space on the main display. So if you have too many things to the right and left of these items, they may not display correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a form onto my page. When you drop the forms button onto your page, this menu comes up to help you choose which form you want to display on the page. I'm just going to put a basic contact form on the page. You also have the option to change the email address that this information will get delivered to from the form. And you can also have the information stored in a database table. I'm just going to leave everything exactly how it is and go ahead and click Put Form on Page. As you can see, the form is now dropped onto the page here, and I can edit this form by clicking the Edit button. So let's go ahead and preview this page. Once again, we're going to be asked to save the changes so that we can view the page. Click OK. And this is our page now. 
This is the form that I just dropped onto the page, and as you can see, it's fairly wide and takes up the majority of the content area space. That's why forms, blogs, calendars, and photo albums need to be on a row by themselves. So I'll go ahead and close that page.